In this video, we're going to give a quick demonstration on how to use the free XG predictor tool. We'll take the Bosnia versus Ukraine game from Thursday evening and go through each stage of the game to see how easy it is to identify opportunities using XG. So at halftime, the game is nil-nil. Ukraine did have plenty of possession without really making any impact on the XG. As we can see, it's a paltry 0.04. While Bosnia, on the other hand, going into halftime, have had the best chances and lead on XG at 0.36. So let's now jump into the XG predictor and see what it tells us. All right, over in the XG predictor tool, we will enter in the first half metrics. So neither team had scored, so we put a zero in cell C23 and C24. Bosnia recorded an XG of 0.36, so we'd enter that into D23, like so. And Ukraine recorded 0.04, which would end into D24. The XG, XG predictor is designed to be very quick and easy to use with, a, with you only needing to update goals and the XG boxes. In this example, that's uh, cells C23, 24, D23, and D24. Then everything else within the tool will automatically populate for you. At this point, we can see that a goal is expected for Bosnia. And if these were the final XG metrics, the expectation would be for a 1-0 Bosnia win or a draw. So we can see that by scrolling over to the far right-hand side. One of the benefits of FOTMOB over some of the other providers is that we can see shots and its XG score throughout the match. So this will allow us to effectively play out this game as if it was happening in real time. So following half time, we can see the first major action was a shot on 52 minutes for Bosnia and had an XG value of 0.1. So we can jump back now over to the XG prediction and see how this may influence the projections. All right, so we will update the XG and that gives us a 0.1 onto uh, Bosnia. So it's still saying a goal is quite low as it's early in the second half, but with that combined with the first half metrics, we can see from a full match perspective, a goal is very much expected for Bosnia. And as you can see, the score uh, prediction is still 1-0, but the match prediction has now moved to a more likely home win and a goal is overdue in this particular game. The reasonable assumption that Bosnia are likely to score and potentially win this match so a small entry stake on the Bosnia win would likely have been the best course of action at this time. And had you done, you would have been rewarded as four minutes later, Bosnia took the lead by an own goal by Ukraine, as we can see here. Now at this point, you could trade out with a profitable trade and move on to the next game. However, as we know, Ukraine eventually came back into the game to win 2-1. And what we'll show you now is how you could have predicted that and profited significantly from that comeback victory for Ukraine. As we are able to track XG in real time, we can show you how this would have influenced our projections at different points in the remainder of the game. And we can do that by clicking on these little arrows here. So as we can see, not a lot happened until the 73rd minute where Mudrik registered a chance valued at 0.1. Two minutes later, we had another chance weighted at 0.05. And a few minutes later, we had a long range shot weighted at 0.02 and another quickly followed at 0.03. In the second minute, things start to get very interesting. We have a major chance with an XG of 0.41, but it's actually gone the way of Bosnia, who perhaps should have put this game to bed. Now, at this point, let's take a quick look at the XG predictor and see what it's telling us for the remainder of the match. All right, let's update the XG predictor. We know Bosnia have scored once uh, through an own goal, and they've also had that big chance a moment ago, giving them an XG of 0.51. Ukraine, on the other hand, have dominated possessions throughout this match with sustained pr pressure in the second half, although their XG is currently 0.2. It is at this point we need to use a bit of our football trading experience. Now, on the face of things, the match is where we would expect things to be based solely on XG alone, with a 1-0 victory for Bosnia as the most likely outcome. However, what stands out here is that Ukraine on the individual team metrics are still expected to score based on the second half and full match XG data. If we then add into our thinking overall momentum and domination, the fact that this is effectively a cup game and Ukraine must score and being the higher ranked team in this, in this match, uh, the final deciding factor is that Ukraine must really push for a goal 
while we can see as evidenced by the last chance, Bosnia remained dangerous on the counter. So at this point, we have a few options depending on the earlier decisions made in this match. If you're in the green already, you may decide to leave the game alone. Alternatively, you may decide to leverage some of your existing green and shift some of that over to the draw Ukraine side of, side of things at low odds, or use some of that green to cover another goal being scored. However, if you get to enter the trade, you're now presented with an interesting opportunity. You could lay Bosnia and one additional goal and potentially add a small stake to two additional goals. And by targeting in this manner, you will profit on any additional goal while achieving significant profits if that goal were to go Ukraine's way. In fact, score a few minutes later on 85 minutes, the winner following on 88 minutes. And by using the XG and the XG predictor and combining this with our base trading knowledge, we would have been able to create several opportunities for potential profitable trades throughout this match. So if you're able to monitor games closely, act quickly and use the XG predictor to support your decision making, you're able to predict more optimal entry points and outcomes of matches. Now to wrap things up, let's take a quick look at the final XG figures for this game. The final score in this game was 1-2 to Ukraine, with all goals coming in the second half, as we can see here. The final second half XG figures were 0.52 to Bosnia and 1.55 to Ukraine. For the full match, the XG was 0.88 and 1.59, respectively. In summary, the XG predictor correctly predicted the Bosnia goal. It correctly predicted the Ukrainian goal being imminent. And based on our calculations, the final score should have ended 1-2 to Ukraine, which it ultimately did. We hope you enjoy using the XG predictor and it has a positive impact on your football trading. If you do not have a copy of the XG predictor yet, you can find a link for this in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.